Affinity Photo for iPad has a really useful feature called the Command Controller, which mimics keyboard modifier functionality, making it easier to work with various tools and the Layers panel. I'll show you how to use it. You can toggle the Command Controller's visibility by tapping up here to access the Document menu, then tapping Toggle Command Controller. A single tap on the main button will quickly reveal the four modifiers you can use. You can tap hold and start to slide over one of these modifiers to activate it. This will enable the modifier for as long as it's being held. Alternatively, you can tap the main button, then quickly tap a modifier to lock it on. You can then tap the modifier to disable it. Now for this image, I'll enable snapping up here, select the move tool and make sure I have this fire layer selected. To duplicate or clone this layer quickly, I can lock the command modifier on, then drag on the layer. I now have a second copy and I'll disable the command modifier. Now I'll rotate this layer by tapping on the rotation handle here and I can snap to 15 degree increments by holding the shift modifier on the command controller. I'll move this layer and snap it back to the center. Then I want to power duplicate this layer. The command controller button also offers another way to access the quick menu by double tapping it and duplicate is located on the top row here. I'll duplicate twice to complete this design. The command controller also works with layers panel interactions. So for example, I could lock option on and tap on this layer to solo it. Then I can tap again with the modifier still active to return to my composition. I can also hold shift here to select multiple layers at the same time. And I'll now transform all four of my layers. Now, if I do this without any modifiers, the scaling is not aspect correct and the origin point is not central. So at this point, I will want to use multiple modifiers simultaneously, which can be achieved by locking them on. Another way of locking modifiers is to tap drag in the direction of the modifier you want to use, then continue dragging past the modifier and release your thumb or finger. Now this shift modifier is enabled until I switch tools and the scaling of the layers is aspect correct. However, I'll also lock on the command modifier and now the transformation origin point becomes central. And finally, I'll lock on the control modifier, which lets me rotate around the origin point as well. When I'm finished, I can switch to the view tool, which will reset the modifiers. You can also move the command controller around by tapping and holding in the button until it starts pulsing. For example, if you're left-handed, you might wish to drag it over to the right of the screen. And there we have it, a quick guide on how to use the command controller. Hopefully you will find it intuitive and useful for working quickly with the various tools available in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.